Hi guys, Sandra from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Just wanted to shoot you a quick video, especially for new members um, and other members who aren't used to being in private communities like our Six Figure Mentors community, as you can see that I'm in here at the moment, and uh, groups on Facebook um, work similar and so do the communities on G+. Um, they all are slightly different, but they have their own little ways of working. But I'm mainly doing this video to help SFM members who are struggling to find things in our community. Okay, so you've come into your community, you're on your home page. Okay, you've just logged in, this is your home page. There's usually a lovely video here from our very beautiful Irene Webster. And she always has some really inspirational and beautiful messages to share with us. Uh, also up here will go some updates um, that regularly go onto our community. So if you scroll down, you can see the the very last founders call there. Okay. Now this is the home page. This is like your news feed on Facebook. So when you post something here, you can post something inspirational to other people. Um, you you can post a question if you wish, um, and you know. Hopefully it will get answered here and people will see it and you can welcome new members and say hello here. Now when you join the SFM community and you start adding friends and you're here to find out relevant information, I firmly suggest you join some groups. Now if you click on groups, it will bring up all the groups. You can browse all the groups. You can even create a group yourself. Okay, so you can browse through the groups and see what's relevant to you. So if you're doing, you know, the the 90 day video challenge, you may want to have a look at this group here. You know, um, if you're in Brisbane and you want to be involved in a mastermind, the marketing 101 group. You know, quotes and sayings. Okay, um, Twitter. You know, there's some information about Twitter in in this group. Um, you know. The G Plus Resources Group. As you can see, there's there's all these groups here that you can join, and you can scroll through them. And you've got plenty of groups here where you can go um, for different members, and you can join these groups by just clicking on them and joining them. Okay. Now um, you've come in here and say you know you're thinking about Facebook and you want to get involved in Facebook marketing. Okay, and you have a couple of questions. I would suggest you join the Facebook Strategies group. So just come into your groups as I've shown you here and click on Facebook Strategies. And here, you know, I'm already a member of this group, but you can request to be a member of this group if it's a private group. Uh, if, it's a, if it's an open group, you'll generally just automatically gain um, membership into the group. Okay. So here you are, you can, you can ask questions of people in here in this group you can read what this group is about you can see the other members and you can continue to scroll down the news feed if you wish and have a look at the different posts okay now as an administrator of a group here on the SFM community there are certain things you can do to keep your stuff organized um, and that's by these tabs up here even as a member you can come in here and you can see who, who else is a member in this group by just clicking on members you can scroll down and find your friends um, and other members and you can connect with them by clicking on their, their name and that will take you to their profile page and you can add them as a friend um, you know you can connect with them you know so that's you know that's how you, you use a group you've got your updates you can post something post a question here you can come and check out members you can check out the latest photos you can check out the discussions Okay, so there's there's one discussion here, Facebook ads shutdown, somebody's asked a question in discussions. Okay, you, now you can post a new topic. When you click on this tab here, you can post a new topic. So if you have a question for the group or there's something relevant that you want to share that you don't want to lose, you can post it as the discussion. So you can click on this and this will open up post a new discussion in the discussions tab and you can put a title to it. And you can put your, you know, this is just like your, you know, just like a, a website, um, whatever you want to call it. But you can put your discussion in here. You can, you know, um, copy and paste by using your paste as text. You can insert and edit videos. You can insert images. 
you can upload images, you can add links, you can hyperlink things, you can put it all in here like, you know, like a mini blog if it's going to be relevant and helpful to the community or if it's just a question, you can type the subject matter of your question and you can just type your question in there. You can change the font family, you can change the font size, you can bold it, you can italic it, just like when you're writing a blog. Okay, so that, that's a good thing to understand about groups is this here. You can come into Facebook strategies discussions. Now, you know, if you've come in here and you decided you don't want to do anything, you can just click hit cancel down the bottom here or you'll click post new topic depending on what you're doing. Uh, now links. Links are stored. So when you post links, they get stored in here as long as you've posted them correctly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to updates and I'm going to show you about this tab here. Um, say you have a link, so I'm going to find a link. Okay, so I'll go to um, you, you can go to the website and you can copy a link. You can copy the link up the top here. I'm not going to copy this because this is Google. It's got nothing to do with Facebook. I'll show show you how to do that later on. But you can copy that link and you can go back to your community here. And when you click on this, you can open, you can add a photo, you can add a link, or you can add a video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a video. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to put here what the video is first. I'm just going to put um, let's see what can I write. Um, I'll just put a nifty tip for. marketers okay now this is going to be a video okay so I'm going to click add video and I, I can choose the source here I'm going to get the source of my video which is here I'm going to copy that link okay, Link here. This, this is the video I want to share how to get more likes on Facebook business page Okay, and if I recycle, you know, if I, if I, this guy gives a, gives a great little tip on niche marketing and, and target marketing. Uh, so I'm going to copy that, copy that link. So I right clicked on that. I just clicked in the box and I right clicked on that and I clicked on copy. Okay, then I'm going to go back into the community and I'm going to choose the source of my, my video which can be YouTube or Vimeo. I'm going to click on YouTube and I'm going to add the video in here. Not up here where you normally would think to add it. I'm going to add it in here. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to attach it. And now you can see the video has come up and I'm going to share that with the group. Okay, now that's one good way of sharing, um, you know, sharing things with a group. Now, if you want this video to be stored in the links here, what you can do is you can click here, you can put add a link, and you can add the video in there. Okay, you can attach it. and you can share it. You can put a post in there with it if you wish. Okay, so now here, this video, if I, if I right click on this and I open it in a new tab, I always right click on my mouse and open in a new tab. This takes people to the video on YouTube. Okay. There you go. So, you know, and, and administrators of groups, they should learn to do this as well. So now have I not only shared the video so you can see the video and people can just click on that and watch that, I've also added the link into links 
So people can easily find that video now in the links if they click on links. So all things that are linked, you can come in here and you can click on them. So if you scroll over that and you right click and you open that, because it's saved in links, it will take you to, you know, the page that it's redirecting to, you know, which you may find helpful, which is the Facebook newsroom, which you'll get a lot of updates from and uh, and different things there. So, okay, so that's one way, um, you know, to, to find things in your group. That That's one very easy way to find things in your group. When you come into your updates, you can scroll endlessly, endlessly, endlessly through the news feed. Um, you can post a question here and hope that it gets seen and people can answer it. Or you can go into discussions and post your discussion there or make up a new page and put your link and your video in, in that new discussion topic. Or you can post your links just as I showed you for that link there. You can post a video or any other link by coming into your here and choosing add photo, add link or add video. Very effective and easy way of keeping your groups organized and and following through. Now as, as a member here you can get back to where you're going to in the SFM community by clicking home. You can, cl you can ch click on your own profile and go back to your own profile by clicking on my profile up here. If you click on that, that will take you to your specific profile. takes you to your profile page um, and as you can see you have tabs at the top of your own profile page as well um, and you know you can cl click on info you can edit this info see so edit my profile over here you can edit your profile over here okay you can choose to hide things um, that are only visible to you uh, that, 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 that other people can't see if you wish Okay, you can check out what friends you've got. You can have a look at your photo albums to see what photos you've shared. Okay, in different areas. Um, you can have a look at the links that you've shared. Here are some links that I've shared on, on my page. Okay, some videos are in there. I've shared videos in links. So there's a video in there. Um, a, a blog that um, you know I found on, on on different places. My group that I created is in there. Um, a blog post from Mark Ford is in there. Another group that I'm I'm involved with that I help uh, run is in there as well. Forum posts. I can have a look at my forum posts so I can see uh, questions I've asked and um, answers I've given in different forums where I've come across question. And I can click to next down the bottom here. I can even click on the more plus and, and see what what's goes on in here. So I can see my videos. These are all the videos that I've posted um, to help people, whether I've posted them in groups um, or you know just videos that I've done to help people out. These are the videos and what I've posted. And if I click on next, I can see more of the videos. Okay. Now, if I go back to friends and um, let's go to Irene's page. I'll visit my, my lovely, beautiful friend, Irene Webster. And here you go. Irene's got some tabs here that I can have a look at as well. So I can click on more and I can have a look at all Irene's videos. I can have a look at the groups that Irene's involved with. I can have a look at event events that she set up. I can have a look at the links that she shared, all the different links that she shared. I can click on next and have a look at some more. I can click on any of these. I can I can right click on any of these and open them up in a separate page if I wish. So if I right click on my mouse, I can open link in new tab. I can copy the link address and just paste it. I can save the link. Um, if I wish, I can check out her album. She's got two albums, wall photos. She's got 123 wall photos, message type photos. She's got two very organized albums there. I can check out all her friends. And if I want to, I can visit these people and I can add them 
and and you know and remove them as friends okay so that's how you use your tabs up the top here now you can also click on your video tabs up here your album tabs up here these are pertaining to everything to do with the SFM community so if I click on albums up here I will see photos and and albums from all members um, within the SFM community and there's plenty to scroll through and have a look at there um, I can also click on my albums and I can add a new photo uh, I can click on videos and up here I can just browse the videos by scrolling through and clicking next 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 and having a look at all the videos I can search the videos with a search term here so if I come over to the right hand side I can click search and um, maybe we can use the search term Facebook shall we I'm sure there's been a video um, shared um, and I can just leave that at most recent or I can you know most viewed or highest rated but we'll just leave that at most recent all categories and um, you know You can, you can choose a category, educational, and there you go. It automatically searches through. And there's three videos that have come up uh, about Facebook. Well, using the Facebook terminology uh, right here that you can have a look at. Okay, uh, you, can, you can change your category here, um, you know, to see if there's any more technology, see if something comes up there. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to show there. Or you can just browse videos. Okay, and this is where you can also post a video. If you have a video on YouTube or Vimeo that you want to share, you can click post a new video here and you can upload your video. It gives you details here. See, you can put your video title, some tags and keywords, a little bit of a description. You can choose a category for your video here. Uh, and you can choose your video source, which is YouTube or Vimeo. Okay, so that's how you use the video section there. Forums, you can just click on forums if you wish, and you can have a look at the different forums, uh, the, 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 the general updates, updates from founders Stuart Ross and Jay Kubisak, uh, news and announcements forum, testimonial forums, you know, set up and getting started. You've got an SFM back office forum. You've got Jay's 90 day challenge, marketing, social media, digital business lounge. So you've got some forums there. You can have a look over here. You've got recent forum posts. You can click on these and have a look at them. You may be able to answer the questions here that people are asking. Okay. Recent forum topics are also over here. So, you know, there's, there's one there that's about solo ads. It's a, it's a question, you know, has anybody used this guy from solo ads? So there's obviously a member wanting to know about a particular solo ad provider. You may read more of that and you may think, well, okay, um, I may be able to help this guy. So you'll click on that and that'll take you to that forum um, post and you, and you may be able to answer the question, ads and campaign tracking. Here's another question. Yes, yeah, so when you come into the community, have a look around. There's a lot of people who have questions that need answers. Um, up and coming events, you can, you know, that that tells you the most recent up and coming events. Blogs, you can read blogs that members have written in here. Some are just introducing themselves. Some of them are talking um, about how to, you know, things that may help you. Free email addresses, help, you know. Can someone out there, you know, this is a question. They've, they've answered the, asked the question in a blog, hoping, um, you know, that they'll get some answers. You know, so have a look around, you know, and, and, and see what's in here. You know, but, but rather than ask your question in a blog post, because a lot of people don't tend to, you know, click on blogs. Um, rather than ask your question in a blog post, add some value to the blog. You know, if you're just a new member and you've just joined, introduce yourself in the blog. To find groups, click on groups. And you can scroll through your groups. You can see the groups you've joined. You can create a group yourself. I created a group. This is a group I created um, about G Plus in relation to your business. Okay, and I have lots of members in this group. They, it's, it's a public group. Anyone can join it. Um, yeah, I can invite members. You can invite members. This gives you a little bit of a rundown on what the group is about. Now, I try and organize this group as best I can. So I, I keep a lot of things shared under tabs. 
So when I share things, I'll often put, you know, um, this is a new discussion that I've set up. Um, you know, and I started it with um, video resources for G+. This, if I click on this, as if I'm new, let's say I'm a visiting new member, I click on here, I can go and have a look at the discu discu discussion and see what it's about, okay? All right, so setting up your G Plus pages, that's what this discussion is about. Um, obviously, you know, um, if you want to learn how to set up your G Plus page, this is where you'll come. And here's a video. In this video, this video will, describe, will, will explain to you the, how to easily set up a G Plus page. Underneath it, you've got the power of G Plus rank. This is a video that I did that shows you the powerful um, ranking ability of G Plus with your posts on G Plus. So there's two useful videos that I stored here that are very easy for members to find. I can add to this discussion any time I wish. You could add to this discussion. You may have some information or a video that may be helpful here or an infographic. You can come into this discussion, um, which is video resources. You know, So preferably I prefer you to share a video. So you may have done a video yourself sharing a tip on how, to, how something you've come across on G+. That will help other members come into here and go, you know, scroll down to here and, you know, choose your font, make a heading and, you know, and click on insert your video and follow the instructions and insert your video. Okay, now to get back to G, I just click up here. And this takes me back in, in into the main home page of G. Links. I always like to share as many links as I can. There's some great links in here on Google Plus for your business. This is a great website that has a lot of very free, valuable information. And everybody, G Plus is free. Um, G Plus for your business, it's a free service. There is no paid advertising on G Plus. You can use it as a networking tool for your business. You can also link your G Plus up with your YouTube and your website. Once they are linked, you have a congruency in Google. Google reads that, that your G Plus page is linked with this website and this re website is linked with your G Plus page. They are also linked to your YouTube channel and your YouTube channel is linked to this G Plus page. So every time you get yourself ranking on Google with a, a po page post on your page, your business page, you are helping with the ranking of not only your business and your brand and your post and your G Plus business page, and you can do this with a, just a personal profile page on G Plus as well, um, but you're also helping with your website. So these groups can be invaluable and offer you very invaluable information in here. So when you come in, use your tabs, use your tabs in groups. Um, if you have questions, about different things. Find a specific group that pertains to your questions. Add your questions in here. Check out your tabs in here. Check out your tabs in your groups. Check out your tabs on your personal profile pages. Um, you can click on anyone. It doesn't matter even if you're a mem even if you're a friend of them or not. It will show you that you're a friend. If you want to add them as a friend, you can add them over here. Check out their tabs. Get used to using your tabs both on the main header of your group, of your community, um, your top tabs, as well as on people's profiles and in groups. Everything has tabs, so check out your tabs. You can see the videos. You can check out the groups they're involved with. You know, these, these are important tools that you can use in your SFM community. And one other little nifty thing which a lot of people uh, don't aren't aren't using. Okay, so I'll come to the home page. On the home page, if you scroll, you can see recent forum topics. You can also see questions and entries into top uh, in, into forum topics over here. You can see the most active groups at the moment. Uh, there are very very important social media links here for you. This will take you to Jay Cubasack's fan page. This will take you to Stuart Ross's Facebook. There's a DEA page on Facebook. There's an SFM page on Facebook. Stuart Ross on Twitter. Jay Kubisak on Twitter. So, you know, you can link up with all of these. There's also DEA on Twitter. SFM on Twitter. SFM is on G+. So you can right-click on all of these and open it in a new tab and go and follow, um, join, uh, add, you know, 
so you can you know right click on all of these and open in a new tab and, and, and add them, add them to your, your networking. They'll be very helpful resources. You will get lots of valuable information from here. Um, you can, you know, click on different things through here and check them all out. Top contributors, members online at the moment, okay? If you scroll to the bottom, there's a chat room down here. You know, you can add a general discussion here you know you can I, I can type in here and I can put hey everyone getting excited um, what is today it's uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so I can put only four days to go for momentum okay I can you know I can enter that and there you go if somebody comes down to here and sees this here they can uh, you know they can add add their discussion here as well so you know just click around on all your tabs have a look at them calendar check out the calendar you know um, this will give you information on upcoming events, you know, um, webinars that, that are being hold, held, you know. So check them all out. Go through here, you know. Um, it's a Google Calendar. You can add it to your own Google Calendar if you wish, you know. So these are all very important tools to use. Chat here. If you click on chat here, check it out. Open up. It takes you into, um, you know, into the chat room here. Okay, and you know there's nothing in here, so you you can add it to there. So just click around on your tabs. You will find things on your tabs. Ask your questions in 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 appropriate places. Um, you know this for this forum here can can as you can see it can fill up very quickly because I've shared some things in the community and now they've they've gone to the top of the home feed. Okay, so yeah, this. this this question here. Um, I was searching internet and I came across a website called Advertising Web Service, um, which they customize Google campaign for your website and they do ad for website versus Google ad. Um, so, what do you think about this? I'm asking question because must um, most of you have experience and I need some opinions. Um, about this, so this is a question you know that's that is a pretty important question. I'm going to like it. Um, I haven't checked out the page, so I'm not going to respond to it. But you know, this is also a question that could have also been asked in perhaps one of the groups or in perhaps one of the forums. You know, so perhaps in the marketing 101 group, you know, uh, that could have been asked or. You know, in in the Facebook group, the Google group. You know, there are different places you can ask your questions, um, and and set up a, a group. You know, if you feel alone and isolated, and you want to connect with members that are in your area or close to you or in the same country, create your own group. There are lots of people who have created their own groups. You know, there's a Brisbane Mastermind group. You know, um, if you scroll down, you'll find a Perth Mastermind group. There's a there's a group in Germany. You know, you can create your own group um, of masterminding people, and you know you can run conference calls with these guys. You know, you can send messages to people by clicking on your message tab up here. Um, you know, and and that's how you use the SFM community. I'm going to stop this now because it's gone on forever. Um, hope you have a great day. Hope that helps you out in finding things in the SFM community. Get in there, get using it, and enjoy. Bye for now.